Ah, Oblivion. Now is this a trip down memory lane or what? It should come as no surprise that a Bethesda Game Studios RPG will be full to the brim with secrets. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion is certainly no exception, though it's fair to say it certainly came with its side dish of other things such as glitches. What on earth is going on with this guard's neck, for example? But hey, you know me, I love secrets and I love games that I enjoy playing besides, and when the two meet, it makes me happy because I feel like I have purpose while I'm exploring games to make videos like this. So of course, please enjoy 10 The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion secrets that many players missed. That's not to say that you missed them, the game's been around for eons. There's a very good chance that you haven't, but many players will besides. I'm just trying to make a bit of fun content, I'm not here to insult anybody's intelligence, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, please... Stop right there, criminal scum! Sit down, maybe grab a brew and a biscuit, and enjoy the video. Secret number one brings us to a bridge at this spot, southeast of Braville, for it's beneath this bridge where we can find the deceased remains of a troll. Besides the norm, on this troll's remains you can find a bottle of an alcoholic beverage and a poorly scrawled note that reads as follows. Me worst troll ever. Nobody pay bridge toll. Me not scary enough. Me get drunk and kill self. Troll drown. And so it seems he did exactly that. However, the note indicates that trolls have an understanding of spoken language and this one in particular knew enough to express his dissatisfaction with his life, and I suppose it also functions as a reference to Three Billy Goats Gruff. With a troll living under a bridge, and trying to charge those who attempt to pass it a toll. Secret number two brings us to the Anvil Docks, where at night three men will gather and begin punching each other. It appears to be a secret fight club, likely in reference to Fight Club. But you can't get involved, sadly, if you start attacking these NPCs, the same thing will happen as if you attacked anybody else. You'll get a bounty and then you'll have to deal with this guy again. So, for the time being, settle for watching from a safe distance. This event happens around midnight every night between the same three NPCs in the exact same pattern, and that's all there is to it. No words are exchanged, nothing references it, they just come out to fight instead of sleep. I suppose if you get knocked out hard enough, it could in theory be considered restful. Secret number three takes us to the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, where an NPC voice blooper can be heard. Provided you're far enough along in the Thieves Guild questline, then you will be able to hear this beauty that was simply left in. We heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. Wait a minute, let me do that one again. I heard that thieves broke into the Arcane University, the Imperial Legion compound, and the temple all on the same night. This one isn't really a secret, and it's kind of notorious, but it's still pretty funny. So I fancied including it. Secret number four brings us to this tiny island west of Anvil. Facing west from the centre of the island, head into the water and you will find a skeleton with a helmet. This helmet is Fingling. It's hideous, but it provides three enchantment values, detect life, night eye and water breathing, so it's ironic that it was found on a corpse in the sea. Maybe he realised it was fuck ugly and removed it. What makes it a secret is the fact that it's so obscurely out the way that many players will never know it even existed. And even if it is a bit ugly, you can certainly sell it for a fair bit of dosh. For secret number five, you need to head inside the Oblivion Gate near Kavach. It's here where you'll find a burnt up corpse with a missing arm sticking out of the lava, with a sword not too far away. A reference to Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. But don't hang around too long, you'll probably get ganked by Daedra. For secret number six, when exploring the Imperial City, you may spot some familiar looking posters for the arena. The arena posters dotted around the city bear striking resemblance to the Elder Scrolls 1 arena's cover art. This deliberate mirroring is certainly a cool detail. For secret number seven, we need to head to the house of Lazare Milvan in Skingrad. Once inside, kill him because he's an asshole. get arrested, come back, unlock the basement and head on in. 
Once we head down the stairs in the basement, we will be attacked by an incredibly powerful rat. So if you want to get ragged about by a rat, then you know where to go. But thanks to god mode, and probably only god mode, I managed to finesse the rat. Without much finesse, anyhow. Why this rat is down here and why it's so damn powerful is anybody's guess, but it is the most powerful rat in the game. I wonder what he's been eating. Secret number 8 takes us to waters west of Fort Nickel, which is west of the Imperial City. It's in this water where you can find a relatively interesting looking corpse. The body, named Nath Dyer, is badly mutilated and decaying. In its inventory we can find primrose leaves and a creepy love letter. The letter reads, You don't know me, but I see you every day. Every day my heart skips a beat as you walk past. I am writing to you in hopes that you will let me court you. When you next venture into town, I will be the one holding a primrose. This appears to reference Nathan McDyer, who worked on the quality assurance team at Bethesda. Maybe it's a part of a cut quest that didn't meet that quality bar and was left in as a bit of a joke. Without context, it's certainly quite a creepy note to find on a corpse. If this person didn't die, what were they actually going to do? Anyway, that's kind of all there is to that one. Secret number 9 brings us to Toadstool Hollow, where we can find a drunk goblin in a barrel. Either very chuffed with himself or unconscious, this guy appears to be deceased. And it's not the only instance of a drunk goblin appearing in Oblivion, it appears to be a bit of an in-joke. I suppose Bethesda likes their drunk goblins. It would appear as if this goblin drank himself to death, or at the very least into a deep coma. So props to him, whether he's living his best life or dying his best death. And finally, secret number 10 brings us to Green Mead Cave, which is northeast of Skingrad. After battling through various foes scaled to your level, you will eventually encounter a giant mud crab, sitting at three times larger than your average mud crab. It sits here and guards its treasure, so naturally you have to scrap it to get past it. What made this mud crab specifically so big? Who knows? And that brings us neatly to the end of this shorter than usual video. I apologise for that, I did intend for the video to be longer, but a lot of my recordings for some reason messed up. It was still the same 10 secrets, but a lot of the footage was just unusable, so I had to do the best with what I had. Hopefully it still worked out okay. I would have re-recorded as much of it as possible if I had the time, however unfortunately when you're watching this I'm not even at home, I'm away. But regardless, thank you all for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. Maybe check out some of my other secrets list videos on different games, I have tons of them now, and plenty more to come, so if this is something that you like, then be sure to stick around. But anyway, with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, please do take care, and goodbye.